Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, fam bam. I'm Cassie. And I'm Maddie. We're from Port Hope, Ontario. And you're watching As Said Podcast. As a mom, I have lots of ideas, but you never know how they'll actually turn out. Example, the Christmas card. She was asleep for most of the shoot, and I thought it was going to be a big bummer. But then, we got the sweetest picture of Maddie and Kobe cuddling. Another example, meeting Santa. I know when I was a little girl, this was something my mom really enjoyed doing, but me? Let's just say it didn't always go as planned. Babies are so unpredictable, and experiences like that, when expectations are high, seem to make babies ten times more unpredictable. You think she's excited to see Santa? I don't know. Are you excited to see Santa? Don't eat your dress. <laughs> They're checking people in. Will you go tell them we're here? She's being real naughty right now, so I don't know how she's going to act for Santa. You know, I've never been to like one of these before as a kid. Like, I've never saw Santa. For real? Yeah. Are we gonna go see Santa? Santa! I know him! Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh my god! Santa here? I know him. This is great. I think we got a winner here. <laughs> All right, man. And how old's your baby? She's four months old. Four months old, yes. and she is just beautiful. Thank here you. we go. Turn around and sit her right here. Yes, madam. Excellent. Put a little dress on, Mom. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, some little dress ready. Hi, pretty girl. Hey, Mama Sheeta. Hey, baby. Hey, Mama Sheeta. <laughs> Smile, girl. <laughs> Every child that comes to the North Pole gets a candy cane well, from Santa, mom gets a candy cane and Mom and Dad gets a candy cane. <laughs> you're you right. Here you go, right there. Thank <laughs> you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> to say that Maddie did well would be a complete understatement. My baby absolutely killed it. She did so well that they wanted to use her photo in a brochure. For me, this experience was cool to have as a dad, not having the experience myself as a kid. All I knew about Santa was he was a man flying on a sleigh, coming down our chimney to deliver our presents. But now, I'm excited about something else. It is 17 degrees out here right now. Now, I know that Santa comes down in a chimney, which for me as a kid growing up in California, I always understood that. But it was fully hard to understand because in California, we didn't use chimneys, obviously because the weather was always good and we really didn't have no use for them. But I always was fascinated by the sense that you can have a fire in your home. Now that I live in Minnesota and I actually have a fireplace, which leads up to the chimney, I think that's correct. If you can't tell, you know I'm from California. I want to use the fireplace. So I'm like, hey, it's cold. It's Christmas. This is what you're supposed to do with a chimney besides Santa Claus coming down it, of course, and light it. So I decided that today's mission is to finally light my chimney or my fireplace, however you want to put it. I've never lit a fire, so I have no idea like what to buy. But before I left on my wood shopping spree there's a bunch of different steps you have to do to light a fire which i've come to learn today i know there's different type of woods there's like something called kindling that you have to buy to start the fire um so yeah i'm just here to try and purchase 
that. So there's all kind of stuff here. I just talked to the guy inside. So you can buy a log of wood and then you have to buy something called kindling, which like starts the fire. For you guys who don't have a fireplace back in California, you know what I'm saying? I'm educating y'all to all the people out here on this side of the world or the country or whatever, how you want to put it. We don't know these things. I know there's this type. This wood looks pretty. There goes the kindling. And there's like racks of wood here too. So I think I'm gonna have to just go all in, get these bad boys and just try to literally get lit. I don't even like saying lit to be honest with you. So what's one good way to do it? Like kind of just how you just had it? Yeah. Go crisscross is good. Otherwise, like I said, you can, you can just go like that sort of a road. That guy is awesome. So he basically gave me all the tips for starting this baby. I didn't think, I didn't think it was gonna be much firewood. It's a whole lot of firewood. But I just came to conclusion with something. At the end of the day, I'm gonna get this fire right, or I'm gonna burn my house down. <laughs> Tag me on social media.